Marvel might have just dropped one of the best episodes of Agatha all along yet. Spoilers for the show ahead, do go watch it and come back. So this episode shows the third trial of the Witches Road and this time it's Agatha's trial, which is talking to the dead. And unlike what I said last week, this trial does feel different to the other two, mainly because we see the coven all turn against Agatha in this, which you can't blame them since she is known for killing her own coven for her own good, so it does seem fair, but it does seem as though Agatha does regret doing all of this in the past. We also see a moment where Agatha pretends to be Mrs. Hart, but the fact that the Ouija board calls her Mrs. Hart was a dead giveaway instead of calling her Sharon, so they should have clocked it from the start. And we find out that the evil zombie witches that were chasing Agatha in episode 2 are in fact the Salem 7 and we get a moment where we see the coven flying on brooms and I must say it looks a lot like Harry Potter. We also get an ET reference which is cool at least. But another point that adds to my theory that Rio Vidal is in fact death, when the Ouija board says that it's death the camera pans to her like it's right there in our faces. How have we not clocked this yet? We also see that Agatha's mother shows up to kill Agatha and it makes you realise that Agatha wasn't born evil but made evil by everyone telling her that she was born evil. But the main twist of the episode is that Agatha steals Alice's powers. Now the way Agatha looks after doing it makes it seem as though she did it by accident or out of habit or something like that. But the end of the episode says otherwise. Then at the end we see the teen attack Agatha out of anger by mind controlling Lilia and Jen. And come on now, it's very clear that he's in fact Billy Maximoff. And I mean just look at him using his powers, it's the exact same way Billy uses it in WandaVision. Now how is he alive or even real? Well, I don't know, magic I guess? He also attacks Lilia and Jen as well as trapping the three underground. We also hear Agatha mention how the teen is a lot like his mother, also known as a certain Wanda Maximoff or the Scarlet Witch. Overall though, besides like the last 5 minutes of the episode, it's okay, but the 5 minutes makes it go from okay to good. So far I'm quite enjoying the show, even though I was more hyped for a grain of sand than the show before the show's release, and somehow unlike Secret Invasion, I don't actually want to destroy my TV after watching the episodes, and that's a good sign. I honestly can't wait for the next episode, and this episode gets a 7.5 out of 10, and subscribe and comment below your thoughts whilst you're there.